Hi Brad from WordPressSites.net uh, This is a five minute video um, just uh, about my recent blog post about four different ways to back up your WordPress site um, either a full backup or a partial backup this is, this is probably the most comprehensive uh, WordPress tutorial I've written so far and includes all the links to all the other ones so if you're a regular uh, on the site you'll probably have uh, seen all these so there's quite a few different methods when it comes to backing up, restoring, migrating, transferring to a new host domain, whatever so uh, I've, my most recent video basically just explains the, the, the best four methods and uh, well, one of the best methods really is just using cPanel. I mean, if you just want to create backup and you don't have a premium WordPress plugin to do it, or you don't want to use FTP, you can just go straight into uh, into cPanel, click on backups, and you can either do a full backup, or you can just back up your home directory with your site files, and then individually back up your database. And it's really easy and really quick, and, and it's free to do that and you can just uh, store them on your local system on your desktop or wherever you like so so that's that's a really really simple way if you want to restore it to the same host on the same server you won't be able to restore the full backup you'd have to back uh, individually back up your files and then individually back up your database which is very very easy as well so uh, Every, all of that uh, is explained when you click on backups in cPanel. It just tells you here. It's it's a very very simple process. I did it yesterday for a client, and it was uh, it's definitely the easiest way. If you're migrating to a new host or server, um, and they're using cPanel as well, well then it's really really easy. You know, it's just so simple. You just need to uh, create some new databases, and uh, that's that's just uh, so simple as well. So uh, just one point I, I, I really do want to stress, I've noticed a lot of people are backing up their database, they're using free WordPress plugins, um, I'm really get, turning away from free WordPress plugins, the more and more work I do for clients I find they're just causing so many different problems, anyone can create a, few, a free plugin and uh, I'm really trying to limit the amount of plugins I use and if I do use plugins I'd rather pay a little bit of money as a one-off to get something that's really useful and, uh, and has full support as well so but uh, uh, backing up your database this is it here this tiny little picture here that's your database that's all there is it's, it's hardly anything whereas you see this big picture here this is only part of the picture when it comes to your files so it's just so much more important to back up your files in your database so keep that in mind because if something ever happens uh, you know you could lose a lot of work especially if you're writing blog posts every day uh, method two is just not not full backup it's just using the wordpress export tool so that's really simple but at least that'll back up all your content it won't back up your plugins your theme settings your seo settings but it will back up your content so if you put all your blood sweat and tears into your uh, into your uh, the content in your posts and pages you can easily just export that you know, for free and you do that on a daily basis and you could use this in conjunction with uh, your host's weekly backup if you trust them uh, I don't trust them so I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't rely on my host for anything um, backup uh, Backup method number three is using a, a WordPress plugin. Um, I've written a little bit about that here and also placed links to other posts on the site. I use this method because it's automatic, it's really easy, and, uh, and it just fully backs up my site every single day. So uh, I'm quite happy to pay a little money as a one off for a, for a really good backup plugin that does a great job. Method four um, is using FTP, and that's really easy. You just sign into FTP. You just drag your whole public HTML folder over to your local site and there's all your files backed up and then you can go back to uh, method one to back up your database which is really simple so so that's pretty straightforward there's the four probably easiest best ways to back up your your, your WordPress files and or your databases either partially or, or fully together so uh, so that's a, that's a really good blog post and I've linked it to another 15. 10 to 15 that I've written on uh, how to move to a new, new host or domain. So uh, cheers and uh, good luck.